It's your boy, Porter Flacco. Anywhere you go, anybody you know, somebody got to know me. And we're back again with another one, folks. Now, check it out, man. Folks, if you went to high school in the projects or the hood, then you understand that rivalry games can get really intense. I'm talking about super intense, man. Oh, it's a sight to be behold, man. All right, the ninjas is coming through in droves, right? You got 35-year-old Pookie and Ray Ray's who are proficient and elite in flipping that pack of Reggie coming back to Mac on 16-year-old Julius. You got the criminals, the convicts. They come back to kind of intimidate the other squad. You even got the players throwing up hand signals, a.k.a. hieroglyphics, really banging. They set. They treat the other team as if they are the ops. It's usually an understanding, though, that this right here is only acceptable here and that this buffoonery would not exist outside of this arena. However, it looks like they ain't get the memo, folks. <laughs> it looks like the ninjas ain't get the memo. Because as I was scrolling down my timeline, I began to smell some dusty ninja activities. I began to smell a thousand, a thousand, right? A scent that only exists to a musty ninja. And folks, when you smell that thousand, that right there is a sign that some dusty ninja activities is about to enter into your airwaves. So as I scrolled down, I came across a video, and I, <laughs> I couldn't believe it, folks. The ninjas then brought their activities to a national stage. No, my buddy, I don't like them. If you ain't know, you would think these guys were pistol packing, willing to send the ops to heaven. You would think they were real life ops. You would think they were spinning blocks at two a.m. trying to send them boys to heaven, folks. But it's a basketball rivalry. They went to the studio and filmed a diss track, then got online and began a self-snitching expedition, folks. It's as if, like, he's recreating the Matrix, right, that would exist in the hoods and the projects, but he's no longer there, so he's bringing his ninja activities to a national stage. To my days, I don't like them ninjas. <laughs> Bro, can you imagine dunking on this boy? <laughs> Your whole family getting sprayed up. This boy ain't no joke. Word to my day. I don't like the niggas, bro. Smoking zips. Smoking zips while playing for the NCAA. <laughs> Y'all know the buffoonery ain't complete without a little self snitching. This right here is just an example, man, that the ignominies exist in the hood ninja mitochondria, man. There ain't nothing you can do. You can take the ninja out the hood, but you ain't taking a hood out the ninja. Number two, number four. I know my, but I don't like them niggas. Where to my mother? It's beef. I don't like them ninjas. It's beef. <laughs> what, bro? Y'all play basketball, bro? You would think these guys is really on the block spinning, right? Right? It's spinning, looking for the dead ops, bro. This is crazy, bro. Can you imagine like the looks on the NCAA commissioner's face, like when he watched this, bro? Like, can you imagine the looks on the opposing teams, like coaching staff, when they're watching this? They were probably mortified, absolutely mortified, just by body language alone, because you guys know for a fact, they ain't understand not one bit of the ninja glyphics we just experienced. They probably had to call a hood translator, man, just to decipher the ninja glyphics, bruh. Yo, what a word to my dead me. Or from what I understand, he's swearing on one of his deceased to exclaim how serious he's really is. So get the, but get on, man. Now, the NCAA actually did punish him, all right? So because of this video, they suspended four players, I believe, for the first half of the championship game, which they ended up losing, man. Now you guys see right here, yo, um, temporary gains for permanent losses, right? Some of these guys were seniors on the team. They will never get another chance to win that championship, right? Because their career is over. And even if they do, they will never get this moment back, right? Because they just lost the opportunity to win one championship, right? And possibly be a two-time champ next year, right? So these guys were suspended for like a half. To me, that wasn't enough, bro. <laughs> that wasn't enough, man. Listen up, bro. They should have been suspended for at least two or three games, man. And, you know, put them in therapy, bro. Because if you're still doing this on a national stage, that means the hood and the stench 
of being a dusty ninja ain't off you yet, bro. We got to go ahead and put you in therapy, man. Right? I got to be for sure and for certain that your days of being a musty ninja is behind you, man, before we put you on the court again. Man, but y'all let me know in the comment section, bro. What do you guys think, man? What will be an accurate punishment for this, bro? It's your boy, Porter Flacco. Anywhere you go, anybody you know, somebody got to know, know me, so please like the video, sub to the channel. Also, man, don't forget, bro, click the notification bell twice so you get notified when I drop 24-7. It's your boy, Porter Flacco. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.